What's up bro, welcome back to the channel and to another video and in today's video I thought I'd talk about my back workout routine and showing you guys how to target your back in the most efficient way possible in order to get the best results in the gym so during this video I'm gonna be taking you with me to the gym and I'm going to be showing you guys uh, some of the best exercises that you can do in order to target your back so keep in mind that when it comes to back it's a very complicated uh, topic because there are a lot of muscles that are working together and uh, don't be fooled by the weather because it's super cold right now even though it looks beautiful but it's really cold so let's get started <music> So the first exercise to target your back is going to be the pull-up. The pull-up is a great exercise to target your lats, traps, biceps and your core in general. Keep in mind that the wider your grip is, the more you're going to target your lats. Make sure the movement is slow and controlled and you're not pushing with your legs. Keep your legs straight, you want to take them out of the equation and use your hands to pull all of your body weight up and get your chin over the bar. If you need assistance, you can definitely do it on the assisted pull-up machine or use a resistance band to help you go up. The next exercise to target your back is the lat pull-down and during this exercise you're going to be working your lats and your biceps and uh, what I would advise you to do is to keep your elbows tucked in so you don't want them flaring out as uh, when you have them tucked in you're going to get the most activation in your lats. And to get the most effect out of this exercise, make sure you bring the bar down to your sternum and then you bring it all the way back up, feeling that your lats are expanding when you're doing this. So basically the pull-ups and the lat pull-down are the best exercises to primarily target your lats and you definitely want to do them if you want to grow your back. The V-bar lat pull-down also activates your lats, but in this case the secondary muscles are going to be your rear rhomboids, brachialis and traps. Same concept applies here, you want to make sure that the V-bar goes all the way up, thus extracting your back. The combination of the bar lat pulldown and the V-bar lat pulldown would be great if you want to target your lats. And now we move on to the high rows. So during the high rows or the overhead rows, mainly you want to be focusing on starting from a stretched position. So you want to make sure that your hands are all the way up, thus stretching your back. And while doing the exercise, the main point you want to be focusing on and in all of the rowing exercises that you want to bring your elbow to the back as much as possible bringing your shoulder blades together so you can either do it with one hand at a time or both hands at a time it all depends on you and on your personal preference moving on to the low rows while doing low rows you want to make sure that the line of pull is aligned with your legs so what i mean by that is try to get the seat as high as possible in order to activate your lats because you want to be working your lats not your shoulders you don't want to be pulling with your shoulders you want to be pulling with your lats and having the seat up will directly have an effect on the activation of your lats and now i'm on the mid row machine keep your chest pushed to the pad you don't want your chest to be moving you want to use it to drive yourself forward as you're pulling back squeeze the shoulder blades together that's basically what you always want to be doing while doing pull exercises and this brings us to the end of this week's video i hope you found the content helpful and enjoyable if you have any questions make sure to write down the comment section i'll be more than happy to answer all of you guys questions and uh, i'll see you next week in the next video thanks for watching I can't see you again